Alrighty guys, welcome back. Now, last video we worked on my daughter's pickup truck. Uh, we got the new headlights installed and replaced the driver's side front fender with a junkyard one. Got the truck pretty much drivable condition, that way we can get her on the street, starting to learn how to drive, get her driver's license, all that neat stuff. But uh, today, we're actually gonna go over a few things on our boosted 5.3 build. Now, for those of you that are new, this is a 2004 Gen 3 we pulled out of a avalanche from our local junkyard, brought it back here, tore everything down, um, cleaned it all up. It's got new cam, main, and rod bearings in it. The most expensive part in this build is our Brian Tooley Stage 3 camshaft, and that has up uh, upgraded springs and push rods and retainers to help us with the rotating or spinning this thing up a little bit higher than it normally does. And, well, it's supposed to go really, really good with our turbo setup. Now, as you can see, this engine is a lot farther along than you probably have seen it. Unless, of course, you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen a lot of these pictures already. And that's because I just got really, really excited about this build. Uh, valve covers are painted with that wrinkle red. Really cool stuff. I was going to clean up the factory coils, but I found a couple with these little ends broken off. Must have happened during pulling the engine. So we went ahead and replaced the coils. And our factory exhaust manifolds are just mocked up with the ends cut off because I am going to use those to build our budget turbo kit. But you can see everything cleans up really, really nice. And if you guys want to check out our front timing cover here, this is actually a gift. One of the pieces to a much larger gift that was sent to me for this build. As you can see here, we've already, it's got drain backs for the turbos, and it is a twin turbo setup. Uh, the only thing I had to do is kind of just notch this hole in our factory accessory bracket here. And if you come on the back side, you can see that it actually clears pretty decent. As a matter of fact, if I had to or went twin turbo in the future, I could probably use a 45, straighten it out, come out either the back side, run up to another turbo which is something i'll definitely be thinking about doing in the future but for right now we're going to keep it simple we're going to stay single turbo just so we can get moving along on this thing and get this mocked up in that truck and for those of you that are new this is my 1993 gmc 1500 pickup it used to be a long bed as you can see there it's a short bed now I uh, used to have a 4.3 V6 in it, but now it has a 7.4 that was literally dug out from the dirt and refreshed and put in this truck. Now I do have plans for this engine. I actually plan on stuffing it in my 87 square body pickup. That'll be a swap on a future video as well, but for right now, we need to get that start start working towards getting that engine out that way we can start mocking this one up in there and getting everything prepped and ready now my original uh plan for this engine was pretty much what you see here same cam same build same everything else but we were going to run the factory intake manifold with a drive-by cable throttle body i planned on picking up one of those standalone computers and harnesses, plugging it in, and pretty much have what you see here. But since then, plans have changed. And here's where the second part of this gift comes in. And I want to thank Tony at Repurpose Performance for contacting me. Now, I was a little leery at first. Like, you know, a lot of people tell you as you're growing up or going through Whatever, that if it sounds too good to be true, it most likely is. But here's one of those where it was too good and it was true. So we are no longer using this intake manifold. We're actually going to put it off to the side because 
I'll show you what we got here in this box. I'm gonna set you down for a second, pull that intake off, and we'll get that one set in its place. And here we go. Got it setting on the engine. Now this is a fabricated intake manifold from Phytech. It has the 102 millimeter throttle body, has the idle air control motor, throttle position sensor, this is a drive-by cable setup. Now, I still need to get the bracket for it, but see we got the fuel rails sitting up there. Everything's just sitting in place right now, just for mock-up purposes. So that is what we are now running on this engine. Now this is a super cool setup and I'm actually really, really excited to uh, use this on this engine. And as you guys can see here, why it, something like this just sounds too good to be true. Uh, still, I, I didn't believe it truthfully till actually it sh the day it showed up. So uh, he sent me what you guys see here, the intake manifold, throttle body, fuel rails, crossover, this awesome front timing cover with the oil drain backs for the turbos. And he also sent me over a complete set of 2200cc injectors, which should be plenty of fuel for this engine once we get it fired up and running. Um, so, super excited. Now, uh, Tony, or repurpose performance. I, he contacted me after seeing one of my first videos with this. I think it might have been my third one, second or third one. Uh, messaged me back and forth on Instagram. Asked me a bunch of questions. You know, I was still kind of literally. Uh, we managed to end up hooking up on the phone, talked back and forth for a little while. Double checked, made sure I was running what I said I was running. Brackets, because he didn't want to send me something over that wasn't going to fit. Came to the conclusion that we needed to run the tall manifold to clear our truck accessory bracket. Sent this over. I mean, I'm still excited. I still got grins. My cheeks kind of hurt because I'm smiling. I'm just super excited about all this. Now, I am going to leave a link to Tony's YouTube in the description. Go check out his channel. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Watch his videos. Uh, he says plenty of times in most of his videos that he wants to do this for some uh, another one of you out there. He wants to see you guys build. He wants to see what you got. He wants, wants you to succeed, right? So, super cool. Now, when he contacted me and sent me this, uh, uh, this setup, he said, I'm still gonna have to get a little bit. I still have to get the PCM and harness to run this setup, which is no big deal, because here it is. Uh, now I want to make sure you guys know I am not sponsored by Phytech in any way whatsoever. I have just been super excited about all this stuff. Uh, I've had it out of the box already and I'm going to pull it out of the box again for you just to kind of show you what's, what, <laughs> what we got. Alright, first here's the injectors he sent over. Bosch 2200cc. As you can see, uh, this is an EV1 style plug. Now the cool thing about the Phytech system is it actually has two injector harnesses that you can choose from. This one right here, if I can get it untangled for you guys so I can show you, is, oh, got another, sit, another harness sitting in there as well. It's got the knock sensor harness. Now this one is a EV6 style injector harness for the EV6 style plugs. And the one that comes in this kit, go ahead and put this off to the side here. Got our sticker. Here we go. Now here's the EV1 style plug. This one comes on the harness already or in the kit already. And they go ahead and send you those just in case you have the other style plugs. Which is really awesome that they think that far ahead. Uh, it's, it's cool. So you're not like deep pin in or buying adapters and stuff like that. Awesome. Uh, O2 sensor. Now for those of you guys out there that don't weld, 
It comes with the clamps and gasket, so all you have to do is just use a stepper bit or something, put a hole in your exhaust, use the hose clamps, clamp it over this gasket right here. Good to go. See here, there's the computer. Now I believe this guy is all waterproof, but I've always liked to keep things inside the cab, so I'll be figuring out how to mount that in the cab. And a lot of you guys out there too have been inside my Mustang. You've seen the display I have for that setup. This one's cool. This one's the display for this right here. Pretty nice. <laughs> really excited to get that hooked up and see how it goes. Now this setup is all self-learning. Actually, it's supposed to detect up to 30 pounds boost, which is awesome. And if you like to tinker around, it is user programmable as well. You can get in there and fool around with a few things. Um, at least learn something like I've been doing. So, um, what else? let's get the rest of this guy out of here. There's our harness. Now I know it probably looks like a, a mess, right? It might be a little intimidating. This is cool. All the fuses and stuff right here, relays are in one little panel, which is cool because the fuel injection system in this car didn't come like that. All the fuses were actually in line with the harness. So the fact that this has this little guy here that you can make a little bracket for and mount off to the side, puts everything right in one spot. You can find it. You don't got to search it through the harness. That's very cool. Um, let's see here. This gets down to the end. I believe a lot of these are just simple little hookups. Like, there you go. Key on power. This one goes to the fuel pump. And I will be going over the instructions. I'm not sure if it's just the continuous power to the fuel pump. Or you can run it to a relay to power the fuel pump, which is something I'll probably end up doing. Just to make sure the pump has all the power it needs all the time. Positive battery cable. Uh, ground cable. It is actually got quite a few. It's Once you get it stretched out and... Uh, as you know what, let me just go ahead and set you down. I'm going to go ahead and just get it all the way out of the box. I'll lay it across the floor for you real quick and show you what it looks like unraveled. All right, here is our harness laid out for you. Now, this is for our handheld, key on power, fuel pump. There's our fuse box, connection for the PCM. A uh, bunch of flying wires, like uh, we got fan inputs, tack output, brake for, I guess you're going to use that for the transmission control. Um, there's something else here. AC input, that way if you have AC on your vehicle, the vehicle knows to bring the idle up a little bit or adjust RPMs when AC is on, which is really cool. This is an extra O2 sensor harness. Um, there we go. Vehicle speed sensor, transmission, hookups. Now, I'm not going to be using any of the transmission hookups. Uh, I actually plan on getting a Turbo 400 for this thing at the very least. I, I'm, it's, I'm actually debating either a 4L80 or a Turbo 400. Haven't quite made up my mind yet, but... Um, this truck does have a transmission controller in it already, so... That's what I'm going to be using for the time being, so I won't be needing any of that. But it's cool that this harness actually has the outputs or inputs for that option. So, that's cool. Um, here's the rest of our stuff here. There's our battery power. Now, they say go to the starter for this one, which is cool because my other system says go straight to the battery. It needs to see 12 volts all the time. Here's the ground. Uh, map sensor and crankshaft position sensor here is our harness for our fuel injectors here's our other injector harness right there engine ground um, coil outputs or inputs here's our cam cam sensor another coil harness and then all these go up to the front now here's something that's really cool this has alternator so it controls our alternator as well, so that's awesome. Uh, coolant temp sensor, idle air control, throttle position. Oop. 
intake air temperature sensor. So all of that complete, just that right there, comes in from the back. So there's our cam, it runs up. Each one of those little guys could probably come through right here, snap into our coils. Runs all the way up front, cause here is our idle air control. There's our throttle position. Here is where our intake air temperature sensor would be, so it looks like I need to get one of those. And our coolant temp sensor. So as you can see, once you get it laid out and actually get to identify all the little plugs, it's not that intimidating. Um, it basically just runs in line, plugs into everything. Cool thing about it is this, you don't have to use that manifold. You can still use that system right there and use the factory intake manifold, which is awesome. But, so that's what we've got in store for this engine uh, so far. This is what's coming up on the channel. Now I am looking, really looking forward to getting this thing toward, uh, in that truck. So, but I do have other things I need to take care of as well. I do have a few other parts I need to order, get them here, that way we're ready. And a little bit of cleanup just to get myself prepared to take on that project. Before I take it on though, we are gonna be getting back on the Mustang as well. Got a couple little things I need to take care of on, on that so we can get it out, start testing, start playing with it, start having some fun while we're tearing into that truck and vice versa. Once the truck's done, like I said before, I do have other plans for this car, so one's going to make sure to keep us busy and having fun while the other one's being tore down. So, uh, Anyways, hope I'm not really forgetting anything. That's what we have coming up on the channel. Uh, again, I am going to put the link to Repurpose Performance in the description. You guys, please go check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He does have a few videos on there as well. Uh, he is a super busy guy, and it just... The fact that he took time to contact me and hook me up with this system to help me and even motivate me more on this project is super cool. Something you don't find all the time. So, And he does say in his videos he wants to do the same for others as well. So if this is something maybe, who knows? Check him out. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, Tony, thank you again for this hookup. You have no idea what you've done for this build or how you've motivated me on this. Super cool. Uh, like I said, I got a few other parts I need to order. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys for hanging out. Feel free to ask any questions in case I missed something. Um, I do plan on doing a teardown or just kind of like a parts list of everything I have spent on this engine in an upcoming video. So make sure you subscribe for that one. But again, you guys, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Hope this interests you or at least motivates you to get out in the garage, work on your projects. It doesn't have to be anything like this. It could be other things. So, <laughs> Jabber, just jabbering on. Again, you guys, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you like it. Hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. Leave a comment, and I'll catch you on the next one.